should get a few. No, for, you should for not. For later. <laughs> for, for Chicago. <laughs> for Chicago. <laughs> Size of the oh, that's a huge pickup. Hey, everything's bigger in Texas, though, even the pickups. Good lord. All right, so we're here at my favorite gas station slash Walmart slash food court to get some jerky and what else do you need? Uh, anything from printed toilet paper to gas. I'm not getting that. <laughs> but yeah, they have like Christmas ornaments, underwear, you name it. They have it all. Yeah. So this place is hilarious. So let's go in. All right, let's count how many pumps they have here for gas. Probably, Damn. I don't think I can count them. That's about 120. About 120. With 67,000 square feet of retail space, the Bucky's location in New Braunfels, Texas is the world's largest convenience store. You can fit 22 average size 7-Elevens or two average size Whole Foods inside this Bucky's. This is huge. What is the name of that sports store, not other stores? Cabela's or This is like a Cabela's. Shop? Yeah, like this used to be like one counter and it, it was just yeah. like a regular convenience store type of look. But now this actually looks like a Walmart or, you know, a department store. Yeah. What? What? Look at the fishing gear. How large it's grown in 10 years. This is a toy store, man. Yeah, so this part. It's just so huge. Like, like I said, when we were here 10 years ago, it was just a long gas station, long counter, food court was on one. Uh, actually, on this side, it was on this side. And it was small, and now it's a, it's a super store. Wow. You're fine. Remember I told you they made jerky? There you go. It's good jerky, too. Man, I, I think I smell cinnamon buns. Let's check out the fresh jerky and see what they got. Yeah, this is the one that Axel and I would buy. Yeah. So it's actually German. It's oh, like really? the German influence. And then there's the sausage one, this is the hot dog. Oh so, oh, so all these items are like German influence items? Yeah. Okay. I, I've actually tried the apple a lot. Well, let's, one, let's get one. Ooh, strawberry and cream cheese. But I like apple too. This is like more traditional than that one. Yeah. so many yeah so they have up to 44 ounces here but I remember there was a 64 ounce cup somewhere I remember Mine seeing didn't. it I remember seeing it god so damn what is this I guess it's a shooter a sugar? yeah you just like you fill up your tube with sugar What are you most excited about here? All the snacks. They They're have so a, weird. They have a mega ton of snacks. You should get a few. No, you should not. Later. For, for Chicago. <laughs> for Chicago. Yeah. Well, I'd like to get the apple collage, so. Yeah, let's get that one. Yeah. It's jalapeno brittle. Jalapeno brittle. I mean, it's got to be good because if they're selling it, somebody's buying it. Sure, so. and jalapenos. So. Yeah. And nuts. Because I remember at the green. Uh, at the Green General store, somebody said like, hey, they have jalapeno peanut butter. So I guess it's pretty good. Yeah, oh, they have more jerky. Yeah, they have more, uh, more jerky. Mm. Wow, they got a lot of jerky. 
Right, honey roasted. 145, done. 145, 145 at Deli. 145. Oh, look at this. All this Bucky branded. Look at this stuff. So we're back at the car. So we're back in the car and oh my gosh. That place is awesome. What an experience. I think the one we went to last time was in Houston. You think so? Yeah, because he said that this one has been like that since the beginning. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like I think they remodeled it because I remember when we used to come to Austin because we used to come to Austin and recycle because you're like, ah, oh, why didn't you recycle in San Antonio? Well, we wanted to, but uh, the everything. hours... No, the thing is that the hours where uh, the San Antonio Recycling Center was were operating was when by the time you got home it was closed, so we couldn't uh, we couldn't do it, and they, they weren't open on the weekend. So we would you know come to Austin on the weekend, and we'd pass by and we'd stop at Buggies to refuel or whatnot, you know, go to the restroom. And I remember it. Ooh, my wife is saying I'm rambling. Anyway, to make it short. My memory it might not be great, so he could be right, but I remember it as being smaller. While he talks, check it out. Sauces and cheese collage. <laughs> so yeah, so. Or am I saying that incorrectly? Is it kolache? Let, Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so there's a big German influence here in Texas. You can see it in the beer. A lot of beer makers came from Germany and they established here in Texas and that's why you have so many beers. But then you also have pastries and this one has a hot dog inside. It's very popular. Oh my god, it's really good. The bread's so sweet. I didn't see. It's like the spicy sausage. I mean, not spicy. It has. Mmm. Like, it's like peppery. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Well, that's that one. And then we're, we're just gonna show you this one. So there's a. Uh, Nabo loves apple anything. So we got apple filled galashi. Maybe for later for the hotel. So, like, if you've been to Europe and been to Italy specifically, and you know the Auto Express, I think it was called? Because it's like a rest stop, like Auto mm -hmm. Express rest stop. This is kind of like the same thing, but the Texan version of mm -hmm. it. So. Was it Auto Express? I think it was like Auto, auto Grill. Sorry, sorry. Auto Grill, yeah. Auto Grill is what it was. Auto Grill. Mm -hmm. Basically the same thing. So. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Ten times bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, just keep watching. We're going to have more Texas videos for you. Yep. All right. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.